Today in Ghostbusters News, we're going to be sitting down with author Glenn Dakin as we talk about the brand new book from Eagle Moss Hero Collector entitled Ghostbusters, Eerie Errors and Suspect Ghosts. Everybody, Jason here at GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube and today we are back and we're talking about the brand new book from Eagle Moss Hero Collector, Ghostbusters, Eerie Errors and Suspect Ghosts. And if you'd like to pick up this book, we've got links right down below in the description. Click it and buy yours today. The book is hitting store shelves right now and would make a perfect gift for the Halloween season or for maybe an early holiday shopper. And we're going to be taking a full look at this book in an upcoming video. But for today, in celebration of the book's release, we're going to be sitting down with the author, Glenn Dakin. In fact, Glenn, I think we have you here now. Glenn, how are you? I'm great, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now, before we get into the book here today, I understand that you already have a bit of history when it comes to the Ghostbusters franchise. Uh, can you elaborate a bit on that? Uh, before this, I was uh, I was a writer on the, uh, the real Ghostbusters uh, comic uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s. So I had to kind of know the Ghostbusters universe pretty much inside out. Although we did take a few liberties on the real Ghostbusters. But uh, basically, we... Uh, you know, I, I wrote a, a whole heap of uh, comic strips. So, I, and also, I wrote Ghostbusters for a national newspaper. Here, we had a, we had it as a kind of gag strip, believe it or not, uh, in uh, in one of the one of the tabloid papers. And I was uh, I was a writer on that. So, I've I've written quite a lot of Ghostbusters uh, before. So, that was my main connection, really, through the comics. Now, this brand new book, Ghostbusters: Eerie Errors and Suspect Ghosts, it's not your typical uh, search and find style book, correct? This is a this is a really uh, unusual one in that what we've done is we've created uh, illustrations with deliberate errors in them that only a real Ghostbusters fan would spot. So we've had um, we've got the you know we've got a, a, a classic scene from the from the movie or the, the, the two uh, the two first movies, and uh, in the in the scene you've got uh, the, like the wrong ghost popping up in the wrong place, or it might be the wrong piece of equipment or it might be a character who isn't in that scene, or it might just be a little bit of wonky continuity from... Uh, and also we've got um, stuff that only the true Ghostbusters fans would spot and it would kind of uh, annoy them, you know, if they saw... Uh, if, if, if they saw that in an illustration in a, in a magazine, it would drive them nuts that somebody had got, um, you know, Ray carrying a, a piece of equipment that Egon should have had. So uh, we've put all these tiny, really irritating errors in and if you follow this book and uh, you you get all these, uh, you spot all these errors and you, you, you get the magic score that adds up to the uh, original phone number of the Ghostbusters, then you're the greatest Ghostbusters expert of all time. Now I'm pretty curious, exactly whose pitch was this? Like, did you come up with this idea or did Eagle Moss Hero Collector, did they come to you? Uh, you know, obviously wanting you to write for them. Uh, exactly who, who who's responsible for the idea and the concept of this book? We uh, devised the idea ourselves. My, my project manager, uh, Stella Bradley, she had the idea of doing a kind of Where's Wally, but next level, where people have to find something they've never had to find before. Something, you're not just looking for a guy, you're looking for something that's wrong. You know, there's something that isn't quite right about this picture. And uh, then we all kind of chipped in with ideas. Um, one of the ideas also is we have real life ghosts in this book. So you, you, if you're like a, a real Ghostbusters fan, you'll know which ghosts you have a pretty good idea which ghosts were in the films but we've put in some ghosts which are real ghosts uh, ghosts from the public domain ghosts from uh, famous literature and some of them ghosts from famous uh, historic hauntings so you have to kind of spot the real ghosts and the fun ghosts as well as spot the uh, the things that are wrong from the movies so we kind of developed it's very layered um, there are also things that are in the wrong movie, so they should have been Ghostbusters 2, like Venkman uh, wearing a Santa hat when he shouldn't be, or a piece of slime appearing where it shouldn't be. So you've got to know the two movies really well, the continuity really well, and you've got to know your ghosts, uh, both real and imaginary. Now, can I say I absolutely love the shot in the book here of Dracula just sitting down at the Sedgwick Hotel with a nice glass of blood? 
<laughs> well, yeah, he's one of the ones we had to be careful with which uh, which uh, supernatural beings we were allowed to use. Uh, the artist has done a fantastic job. John Ross, the artist, has done a fantastic job of bringing to life uh, the ghosts, and uh, we've tried to introduce them in such a way that they 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 almost seem to belong there, you know, when they're not so bit supposed to be there. It's quite fun. Now, Glenn, I know you've already touched on like a bunch of the intentional errors fans can find inside this book, uh, but one of those errors they're called super quibbles. What exactly are super quibbles? Super quibbles are for the absolute. Um, these are for the kind of Egon Spenglers of the, of you know the Ghostbusters fans, the ones who know more than everybody else. They're kind of like things that might have been in the movie but weren't characters who were in original drafts of the movie but that were deleted. Um, something that was designed for the movie but not used uh, things that people who've read behind the scenes books or you know they've looked up this stuff so those are for the absolute uh, real ghostbusters nerds that, that that know the behind the scenes stuff so we've been we've been through some um you know some uh, rare materials some deleted scenes and you know some uh, characters that were invented um uh, there's a couple of like saturday night live characters that were going to be in there and uh, so we've added them into the scene so people you know some people will spot these things and they'll say ah i i heard that was going to be in the movie so that they'll get special points extra points for this now i just received this book today so i'm going to go through it and i'm going to find all the errors and such inside of here but there are some that you know i just glanced at that were very apparent to me uh one right here is slimer with legs and let me tell you slimer with legs that makes me feel pretty uncomfortable i don't know why Yes, I know. I mean, Slimer with legs, it's not right. If you're if you're a free floating half torso phantasm, you can't have legs, can you? But we have to make some of the uh, puzzles um, easy or else people will just sulk and go away. So, you know, we threw in a few obvious ones, but uh, yeah, not, not everybody knows that uh, Slimer doesn't have legs. Now, with working on this brand new book release, I'm kind of curious. Was there anything new that you found out about the Ghostbusters franchise that surprised you? <laughs> <laughs> um well uh gosh i wish you i wish i'd had a forewarning of that um really we worked we worked very hard on this book uh, over a long period of time and all the mistakes um were sort of um thoroughly investigated so um i, I can't think at the moment of something if i get if i if i'd be giving it away but uh, i can't think of uh, anything off the top of my head that's my favorite mistake but I, I was quite pleased when we got the Saturday Night Live characters in there. There's a couple of figures in there that people might recognise. So uh, I won't say what they are, but I, I think I was quite pleased we managed to cross the streams between Ghostbusters and Saturday Night Live and get something kind of like from the broader world of comedy hidden away in there. Now that this book has been released, I'm kind of curious uh, for you, once again, being the author, what do you hope fans get out of it? I think what I what I hope is that this is a, like a really big celebration of Ghostbusters. It's a lot of fun. Um, we've really gone like behind the scenes into the tiniest details, the quirkiest little things from each uh, movie, uh, the first two movies. And um, I just think it's kind of like a uh, like a party. It celebrates what is fun about those. And um, there's a little intro uh, introduction about the kind of like history of people looking for the little details in the world of the Ghostbusters. You know, can you really catch a ghost? How do they do it? You know, there are certain things that intrigued people right from the start, not just about the, you know, it wasn't just a comedy, but it, it, it set out a, a whole world of its own, really, and uh, physics of its own. So we've also given some details about that. There's a little article about the real life ghosts. And in the back, you don't just get like, um, a bunch of uh, quick answers you get really detailed and um you know quir quirky uh, analysis of your of your mistakes so it's like a, it's like the, it's like the kind of thing a couple of uh friends would like be talking about in a bar if they were discussing ghostbusters and all the little tiny details and you know it's that it's that kind of atmosphere like a, a friendly conversation I don't know about you, but I know for me, over the past couple years, there's been a lot of Ghostbusters books released, you know, talking about the history of Ghostbusters. And I gotta say, uh, this one here, it's kind of refreshing. Uh, being that it's like more like an activity book, it reminds me of like that old school, like the old school activity books from Ghostbusters 2, where there was like crosswords inside and, uh, you know, coloring pages and such. Well, this is like a coloring book, but we've already colored it in for you, so you can just uh, sit back and enjoy. No, no, it is, it is supposed to be... Uh 
it's just supposed to be a lot of fun it's a bit cheeky you know some of the mistakes are outrageous some of the things people are doing it's a pretty ghoulish as well you know there are sorts of seven heads in there and uh you know it's um it's uh, it's trying to capture some of the irreverent spirit of the you know the original movie had this kind of surprising irreverent spirit and we're trying to bring that approach so that people will just be genuinely like uh, surprised at how uh, offbeat and quirky this whole uh, book is. And one thing I really loved is actually this book uh, goes through both original films pretty much all the key points with eight different scenes available. There, there is, a, there is an illusion of organisation about the book. Yeah, we've put the, we've put the, we've put the scenes in chronological order, and uh, you can kind of uh, join the story together from the little in intros and details. And uh, yeah, it, it's not just, um, it, it, it's not just been thrown together. There's, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, it works on lots of different. Things. Well, Glenn, I think that about does it here today. I do want to thank you for stopping by and chatting with me regarding the brand new book, Ghostbusters, Eerie Errors, and Suspect Ghosts. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing? I would say watch out because online we're going to put out a special edition uh, puzzle, which is connected with the third movie. Uh, there's, it's going to be set in um, a scene from that movie, and there's going to be stuff to find in there. So that's kind of your gateway to this book. If you check online i think that's going to be on the official ghostbusters uh, website uh, check with hero collector the uh, eagle moss we'll have the information on there and so you're going to get a special tease about the third movie and that is going to be your gateway into uh, this book so we are stepping you know we have got a little bit of information about that movie and um hopefully uh, it'll help fans to uh, warm themselves up for for ghostbusters 3. I thank you so much, Glenn, and I thank everybody out there for checking out today's video. Once again, guys, if you'd like to pick up this book, we've got links found right down below in the description. Click them and buy your copy today. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube to stay up to date with all the Ghostbusters happenings. Also, be sure to bust that little bell notification icon. If you'd like to help out Ghostbusters News, we do have a Patreon page. Link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I will see everybody right back here next time. Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube.